some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. Well, first things first, uh, let me ask you something, guys. If you are tired of the antics of for public safety and official misconduct and this lawsuit that they're apparently filing on several content creators and the ex-husband of the aforementioned official misconduct and you want to help somebody out with this particular incident but you don't know where to go, well, there is a... Uh, donation going out to uh, official misconduct's uh, uh, ex-husband, Bill, as he attempts to uh, fight this lawsuit that he has against him. I'm going to provide a link in the description below to a uh, GoFundMe page where Bill is attempting to collect some money for his legal defense against official misconduct and for public safety. So if you could uh, donate to the cause of the legal defense and stick it to those two idiots, that would be one step you could take in bringing these two idiots down and letting the justice system deal with them. Okay then, let's get on with the business of this video. In this video, we find ourselves at the Chattahoochee Courthouse in Georgia, where Georgia Transparency, aka the moron called Rusty, is trying to do his normal frauditing, but ends up getting kicked out. Oh, the poor little guy! Oh, not so little, man, if you know what I mean. At any rate, guys, let's go ahead and sit back. Relax and enjoy the show. GT's going hot at the Chattahoochee County Courthouse here in Chattahoochee County, Georgia, in the wonderful city of Cassetta. And so it begins. All right, so there's the courtroom. I'll just take you some pictures. Oh, or have some. And some video, yes, ma'am. Of the, just the pictures outside, or? Oh, just the, anywhere in here. Oh, what's that for? Oh, just for me. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, it's all just the public areas. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Thank y'all so much. You're welcome. Oh, just the public areas. Well, how about the other day whenever you were constantly whining and bitching and complaining and moaning about the courtroom which you couldn't go into because it was closed for business that day? Oh, boy, you were just so hot and heavy, weren't you? But you didn't get in, did you? Ma'am? Can I help you? Oh, no, ma'am. Just take some pictures and video. Uh, we're not allowed to do that in the courthouse. There's... Oh, no, no. I'm not going in the courtroom. I won't. So here's the list of fees for, I guess, what, Chattahoochee County uh, charges, I guess, for... Uh, for your civil cases, sheriff service, stuff like that. Oh, is this the uh, public records room? Oh, how observant of you, Rusty. It's a shame that you lost your uh, job as a private investigator. But you know what? That's what happens when you go stalking. That's what happens when you, uh, well, act like a complete douche canoe. And, well, that's... Well, that's karma for you. Oh, ma'am? Yes, sir. Oh, can I get your name, please? No, sir. What's your name? Um, I'd rather not give it then. Well, I'd rather not give you mine. Uh, I'll tell you my name. My name's Russ. Okay. And what is your name, ma'am? My name is Tammy. Okay. Is this where all the public records and stuff is? This is where all the records are, yes, sir. Oh, uh, is this open to the public? It is. Oh, okay. Thank you. Not open to record anything in here though. Oh, but it's, you said it was open to the public though. But it's not open to record. Oh, good morning, ma'am. How are you? 
I wonder how long it's going to take before he tries to go into that room that says authorized personnel only. I mean, we all know he's got a history of doing that kind of thing, but let's go ahead and continue on. So if it's not, I don't understand the... Can you help me understand? No, sir. If it's open to the... What what game, ma'am? You said this is First open. First of all, I have a right, and you are recording me, and I do not. I did not sign anything for you to record me, so you can take that recorder off of me right now. Are we not in public? It doesn't matter. I have a right, also. There's no. You can take that recorder off of me right now. There's no reasonable expectation of privacy while in public, ma'am. I did not ask to be recorded. I have a right as well, sir. Are you a public employee? I do not have to answer your questions either. Rusty boy, how many times are you going to be hit with privacy strikes before you learn your lesson about recording those who don't want to be recorded? I mean, it's rather simple to get a hold of this woman and uh, let her know how the system works on YouTube and let her know what channel you are on. And then when that privacy strike comes through, you're going to have to remove her face from YouTube. So you know what? You might as well quit while you're ahead. Well, you made contact with me, ma'am, Miss Tammy. Take that recorder off of me. I don't understand what's going on. You do. You're just being you. What's me? me? What's me, though? I don't. Oh, how are you, sir? Uh, you looking for the clerk, sir? Yes. I think she's in there. Well, here's the officer now. Uh, I wonder if he's going to turn into a complete man-child wimpy boy like he did with that uh, little lady he, a few days ago. I mean, that was a sad sight to behold, to see a man above 400 pounds and over 6 feet tall acting like such a whiny little wanker. Am I, uh, am I doing something wrong? I don't respond to you. I don't think so. She said I'm not allowed to record in public areas. You're not allowed to record me. I have a right not to be recorded. That's my personal right, so you can leave my office. I don't think that's her personal right. Can you let her know? Yeah, that is my I'm personal like, right. I'm like, I don't know what's going on. I'm... Please don't, like, just, arrest me or something. I'm not going to arrest you. Just uh, stay in the hallway. Don't go in it's, the records she's, room. Well, she said this was a public area. That's not a public area. That's the records room. Oh, she said it was a public area, though. That's 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 a records room. That's not a public area. Oh, is it not public? The, this, this whole area here is, is public. Oh, so I couldn't walk in there and look at deeds or anything? That's got criminal records and things like that. Oh, y'all should separate those then. You know, they should separate those uh, records right there. Separate you from them by kicking your sorry ass out the building. And that way, they will be safe from idiots like you. You should take a class or get with the ladies, the nice ladies up front, because they were very nice and said that I could do what I'm doing and didn't have an attitude or anything, ma'am. You should probably go talk with them. And maybe they can, like, help you out and educate you about what the press is allowed to do in public, ma'am. Why not? How do you know? Show me a badge. Oh, yes, ma'am. Um, yes. Um, do you have a badge for what religion you practice? Oh, boy. Another false equivalency fallacy right there. Because religion and press are two separate things. The press will go in and collect information, while religion, well, that's an entirely separate entity right there. They're not exactly going to go in to a uh, courthouse and act like they run the place most of the time, unlike some people like you who are going to claim to be members of the press and enter that place and act like you own the place. Because, you know, true members of the press know their boundaries, they know 
where to go and where not to go, who to see, who to talk to, and everything like that, to get a good story and actually publish it. All you're doing is annoying people for clicks and views, and that's all. You're merely a prank channel at this point, dude. I don't need to provide you that information, sir. Oh, then I don't need to provide you a press bag. I don't have to leave, ma'am, in a public area. I don't... She's asking me for a press badge. Press? Yeah, I don't know. She's asking me for a press badge. Are you part of a press or anything like that? I mean, I'm a member of the press, but she said I wasn't. And... Oh, now look what we've got coming out of the woodworks. We got Big Wuss Rusty now. I mean, good freaking grief. He goes to the sheriff when he feels like he's being challenged by somebody half his size. Oh, poor little boy. Do you want to go home and uh, crawl into bed and suck on your thumb while you're at it? I mean, good freaking grief, dude. Grow up. However, I mean, do you have a badge for your freedom of speech or for your freedom of religion or stuff? I'm pretty calm and like, I just kind of got yelled at for not recording in public and stuff. Thank you, deputy. Is it Ma Maschavio? I I'm going to mess up. Maschavio. Thank you for upholding my rights, sir. I'm glad you showed up. I'm glad you showed up to hold I my rights. I have to leave the office for a minute, so you'll have to step out because I have okay. to lock the door. Open. Okay, you can lock that door. That's authorized personnel only, though. No, I can lock this door. I have to leave the building, so I have to have everybody out of my office. I'm, I'm not in your office. I'm in the public area. Sir, I have to leave. It's not public when I'm not here. But there's public notices all over the board. What if someone needs to... Don't you understand? This area is now off limits to you because, well, you know, you acted like such a little whiny baby. She had to leave for the day to make sure that you weren't going to film anything that didn't need to be filmed. Which makes me wonder if that area was left open while she was gone, then what would prevent you from going into that room at all? Then trying to uh, uncover some things that you're not supposed to see, such as the names and addresses of... Uh, let's just say the ones who commit criminal activity in the area, stuff they don't want getting out anyway. What's our problem? Sorry, here, I'm sorry, let me move out of your way. I don't think I have to leave a public area, do I? It's not when I have to step out. That's not public back there. I can't go back there. Office. Okay. I, have, I locked my door so nobody steals anything. Oh, I'm not trying to. I'm not I, going in. There. I know, but can you please step out so I can go I to the I need to get office. some more pictures of this board. I, you've already taken pictures. But you've pictures. interrupted me. Sir, I have to leave. I'm on a schedule. I have a court coming can up. You, can you help us out, please? No. Can you uphold our rights, please, sir? Step out. Please. Please. Step out. What is she doing? She I can't lock me in here. Office. I'm not. I'm, I'm in a public you area. This hallway. This office so I can go to the so you're going to buy, will I, I be arrested if I don't come out or? Well, I'm sure there's a high likelihood at this point that the officer will arrest you for loitering in a, what is now a non-public area because there's no employees there to make sure that you're not going to steal anything when they're away. So yeah, it would be prevention of a cr potential crime if you were to be left, uh, escorted out of there because you know, they do have sensitive information back there. So yeah, why don't you make like a tree and get out of here? Please come out of my office. Oh my God. This hallway here is part of the rest of the courtroom. That's part of her office for her courtroom. But this is a public area. The public can not come in I'm here, not here sir. and get and not get when stuff. I'm not here. I have to step out and I have to go to the post office. All right, Miss Tammy Wade, Clerk of Superior Court. That's the Superior Court's office. But that's the Superior Court's Please office. Step out of my office. I mean. Thank you. Why are? Please step out. Ma'am, don't hit me with the door. I cannot. Oh my goodness. Holy cow, you are horrible. You're garbage. Yeah, so are you. Holy cow. 
Yeah, holy cow, indeed, that you act like such a gigantic man-child when, uh, for obvious reasons, you are asked to leave an area because they are closing up business for a few minutes. I mean, what would you do uh, when a uh, restaurant closes and you're asked to leave, but you're not done at the buffet, you buffoon? Are you going to stand up and whine and cry about how they does done serving all the food and won't cook for you anymore. I mean, good freaking grief, Rust, Rusty boy. Why don't you freaking grow up and take a look at how the world really works because it doesn't revolve around you, you dipshit. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.